My name is Abigail, and I was near death. Over 20 years ago, I searched for my authentic self. I tried many approaches, including medicines, to find answers. I used one drug intermittently for 20 years and became reliant on it. I sought the truth instead of relief from my inner turmoil, grief, and pain. My soul was unfulfilled by a home, family, six-figure job, and all my goods. I was about to break my habit at a friend's place in 2018 after losing a close friend. 20 years of utilizing this drug hadn't prepared me. We got high, and I felt nauseous. Everything was falling apart until I started having trouble breathing. Despite my anxiousness, my friend recommended I try marijuana, which was not my usual decision. I felt my throat shutting when I inhaled. I lost sight and breath in panic. Everything went black and I struggled for air as if he had blown smoke in my face minutes earlier. It was horrifying to watch how all the medications affected me. On the way to his couch, I begged him to call 911 and pray for me. I panicked when I realized I couldn't change my behavior. I suddenly realized how precious my life is. The feeling of my soul leaving my body was powerful. I was terrified I might float away if I let go because everything was happening so fast. A desperate attempt to reconnect with my friend, I grabbed their hand as I felt alienated from my body. My friend excited the room and went to his patio after realizing his mistake. I begged God to save me. I appeared to return to my bodily body, but it was still and unresponsive. My muscles were paralyzed and I couldn't breathe. Although I could see them, my organs and cells seemed to scream in acknowledgement of their faults, a sobering reminder of my activities. After asking with God to save my life, I was instantly at a place of unimaginable love and peace. A lavender opal kaleidoscope surrounded me. I saw three beautiful, magnificent, towering angels on my left. They all wanted to touch me, but I knew I would never return if I chased them. My return would have been miraculous just to see my child. A powerful spirit, the source of love and power, stood before me. I felt its hidden energy, and thinking was the easiest way to connect. I mistakenly praised Jesus' selflessness and begged for another chance. Despite my franticness, the presence remained. I recognized then that my anxieties were unfounded and that everything had a purpose. Again, the scene changed. I was surrounded by eyewitnesses in a foreign location and sky while I cried for forgiveness. I stared back at them, unsure of their identity or the significance of this bizarre encounter. I had no contact with these people. Meeting your eyes left me uncertain. After looking to the spirit beside me for advice, I realized it was God's calming, paternal spirit. What is the best course of action? Just say, adore them. His reply was straightforward. Recommitting to gaze into these strangers' eyes flooded me with empathy and connection. What am I supposed to say? More inquiries from me. True, the sarcastic reply reflected reality. I was unsure if I needed to adjust, but the insightful reply was bang on. I didn't hear him say anyone else could change things except me. He addressed my question about where to receive the needed information, which relieved me greatly. You already possess it. I returned determined to be a good mother. The lengthy line of people waiting in front of me was silent as they stared at me, or the angelic figure beside me. With a nod, I was transported back to the initial moment where I marveled at the colors and felt inseparable from the person beside me. When he entered or left, the chamber resounded, demonstrating his might. I was amazed at such infinite love and power. I had never seen anything like that on earth. A tremendous revelation rushed over me as the spirit brought me closer. I was a triune being, body, spirit, and soul, bound together in divine essence. I realized this energy was in all living things, linking us in a complicated web of interconnection. I looked back on my life with new eyes in this stupor. These memories helped me grow rather than bring me down. My metamorphosis was profound. The presence seemed to affect me in every way, even though they said nothing would change. Because of this celestial presence, life blossomed in ways I never expected. No other feeling had provided me such delight and contentment. At that moment, I felt completely loved and accepted as I was. It exceeded my financial goals and was a newfound joy.
The sublime experience showed me that I could achieve my dreams. I felt thankfulness and exhilaration for the first time even though I was only a short trip from Earth. I was overcome with gratitude beyond any other high on Earth. A shock jolted me back to consciousness, as if someone had performed CPR on a laboring breather, but no one had. I'm alive. I exclaimed as I regained consciousness. Love is the answer to all problems and our mission on Earth. After receiving a second chance, I fervently preached Jesus' existence, a belief that had been theoretical until then. I was astonished by my friend's reply. He glanced at me in horror, refusing my revelation. I felt like a huge heat wave was devouring me after that. I felt like I was burned alive after my near-death experience. I had to tell my story to understand what happened and why it mattered. I was impelled to recount the events and explore their tremendous implications. How did this happen to me? Can I learn from my failures and help others by sharing my knowledge? I began exploring human biology and the many chemical interactions and stimuli that affect the body. Like my results, the event was mind-blowing. I chose sobriety and abstinence. Former superficial goals have been replaced by deep and enduring change. I now focus on the present rather than monetary stuff or fleeting pleasures. I quit business to help human trafficking victims after gathering experience. My natural next step was a drug rehab job. My experience with the supernatural has changed my outlook on life and everyday events. I have preserved my faith in Jesus Christ despite dabbling in New Age thinking and being disillusioned with Orthodox religion. I struggled with substance abuse, sexual fixation, materialism, and other vices to find significance in my life. After my encounters, those desires no longer ruled me. I had a peaceful and independent life since I was free from ephemeral pleasures. I now feel pleased instead of hungry when I think about my former troubles. My spiritual journey changed when I realized one must look within for contentment. I was inspired to examine alternative belief systems after my near-death experience to find purpose. The idea of living for spiritual enlightenment rather than corporate objectives suddenly occurred to me. Since childhood, I've wanted to be rich and famous, but after what I went through, it felt pointless. I transcended cultural norms and social mores and rose above the commonplace. A complete shift, like breaking away from my old self. I finally saw through my long-held deceptions and welcomed freedom and sincerity over consumerism and approbation. I no longer feel controlled by alcohol or drugs. I renounced a life of comfortable wealth because it couldn't compare to my newfound consciousness. After finding true fulfillment, I realized I could find comfort in my own company. Sharing my tale changed me. Providing hope and encouragement to people in difficult times is really rewarding. Some folks have given me their drugs to conquer addictions because of my testimony. This shows how faith can change lives and how God can help combat addiction. This opportunity was a blessing. I am forever grateful to everyone who watched the whole video. First time viewers, please subscribe. Your help is appreciated.